Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to adjust the right stop on this Hunter PGP-ADJ sprinkler. But before we begin, I wanted to talk about some different things. First, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And second, I do have two other videos about this Hunter PGP-ADJ sprinkler. And one of them talks about how to adjust the arc and the other one talks about how to adjust the radius. And I will link both of those videos at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. Also, before you make the right stop adjustment on the Hunter PGP-ADJ sprinkler, you need to make sure that the sprinkler system is turned off and unplugged. You do not want the sprinkler system to turn on while you're making the adjustment. And there are two different ways to adjust the right stop on this sprinkler. In this video, I'm only going to show one of the ways, the way that I prefer. If you're interested in learning about the other way to adjust the right stop on this sprinkler, please refer to the official Hunter website. And I do have a new Hunter PGP-ADJ sprinkler here for reference. This is what this one looks like. Okay, there is an arrow right here, and it lets us know which direction the turret is facing, so which direction the water is going to come out. Currently, it's facing this direction. So I'm going to gently turn the turret to the left until it stops, and now we're at the left stop, so the arrow is pointing this direction here. And now I'm going to gently turn the turret back to the right until it stops. And now the arrow is pointing this direction, so we know that this is the right stop. Okay, so right here, I'm just going to move some of these rocks out of the way so we can get to this piece right here. I'm just kind of gently moving these back out of the way. And you want to make sure if you have like dirt or debris or whatever it is around the sprinkler, you want to make sure um, to move that away from the sprinkler because when we take this apart, you don't want any dirt or debris to get into the sprinkler system. And when you do take this part off, you want to be careful because there is a spring underneath, so you do not want this part to fly off at you. So just make sure that you're careful and aware of that. All right guys, I've moved some more rocks out of the way and I'm going to hold on to this part of the sprinkler down here while I'm turning this part of the sprinkler counterclockwise. You do not want this part of the sprinkler to move. Okay, so like I said earlier, there is a spring underneath here, and on this one I think that it's getting caught. So make sure that you're aware that that's a possibility, and make sure that you're careful when you remove the top part of the sprinkler, um, because the spring may fly upward, so you want to make sure that um, your fingers are not underneath this part here of the sprinkler. So um, I'm going to remove the top part of the sprinkler now. Okay, so I wanted to show you what it was. It was this gasket piece right here. This was getting stuck on the bottom part of the sprinkler and was keeping the spring compressed. So once this gasket piece came free, it allowed the spring to move upwards. So you just wanna be really careful if you run into this situation. Okay, and just in case the turret got moved when you were taking this part of the sprinkler out, you want to gently move the turret all the way left until it stops, and then gently turn the turret all the way back to the right until it stops. 
Okay, and now that you know where the right stop of the sprinkler is, we can put this part of the sprinkler back into the sprinkler. And you just wanna line up the right stop wherever you want it to be. Mine is going back to about where it was. And now we're going to tighten this part of the sprinkler back down by turning it clockwise until it's secured all the way into place. And just make sure to get this tightened down all the way. Um, I noticed on mine, it seemed to seem like it was tightened halfway or so. Um, but then I turned on this piece a little more and it kept going quite a bit. So just make sure to get this tightened down all the way. I'm going to move all of these rocks back into place and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I hope this video has been helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have two other videos about the Hunter PGP-ADJ sprinkler and I'll link both of those at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.